I'm creating a series about how to build your self-confidence. If you haven't watched my previous videos, make sure after you get done with this video that you go back and watch those too. If you have issues with low self-confidence or low self-esteem, make sure you stick around and watch the full video. I'm going to share five important tips with you. Tip number one, celebrate small achievements. No matter how small it is, it's worth celebrating. For example, you may be trying to become a healthy person. So you want to eat more healthier. And you may have went one day without eating anything sweet. That's worth celebrating because it's hard to not to eat something sweet in 24 hours if you are used to eating a couple of things sweet throughout the day. So you should celebrate that. Another example is you want to write a book and it's something that you have been desiring to do for a while, but you just don't really know how to make yourself get started. So you decided that you are just going to make yourself sit down and just write a paragraph. If you wrote a paragraph and it may even just be the outline for the book, you should feel proud of yourself and it is worth celebrating every accomplishment you achieve in life, whether big or small, is worth celebrating. Tip number two, recognize what you are good at. Sometimes it's hard to recognize what you're good at because it's so easy to notice things about you that you don't like, that you're not good at, and it stands out. So you do want to take out time and figure those things out. If you're not sure about the things that you are good at, or even if you know some things that you are good at, write those things down. And once you do that, you should talk to your loved ones, your family, or your best friend, and just ask them what do they feel that you are good at. Because sometimes, too, they can recognize some things about you that you haven't even noticed. Once you have recognized the things that you are good at, what you want to do is start doing some of those things often as possible because things that you are naturally good at, a lot of times it have to do with the gifts that God has given you are the purpose that God has created you for. And some people have multiple gifts, multiple talents. So it's good to know what they are and it's also good to operate in your gifts. Tip number three, make a list of your accomplishments. The reason why you want to make a list of the things that you have accomplished. Sometimes in life, we set goals for ourselves. And once we have reached those goals, we just move to the next and not actually enjoying what we have just accomplished. So write down things that you have accomplished, no matter how small or large it is, it's worth writing it down. And just by doing that, it helps boost your self-esteem. It helps you to feel more confident by just looking at the goals that you have achieved. Once you have written down the things that you have accomplished, you may have something else that you want to do, but you're not for sure if you can achieve that particular goal or not. By just looking at the other things that you have already achieved, it will help build your self-esteem and give you that boost you need to start on the next accomplishment. Tip number four, eliminate self-criticism. Whatever it is in your life that's causing you to criticize yourself or to feel less than, you need to get it out of your life. For example, it may be some of the people that you are following on social media. I mean, if it doesn't make you feel positive, then you need to stop following them and find some positive content, something that's going to make you feel at peace, something that's going to help you, not to make you feel worse. Tip number five, focus on the positive. Focus on positive things about yourself. And sometimes it's hard to do when you have trained yourself to only see negative things. So one thing that you're going to have to do in order to see the positive things, you're going to have to pray and ask God to renew your mind, to help you to think right, to help you 
to see the good in yourself, to see yourself the way that he sees you. And not only pray, but you're going to have to watch your thinking. Watch and pay attention to what you're thinking about. Whenever you're thinking about something negative, turn it around and start thinking about something positive instead. Focus on positive scriptures. Find you a positive scripture, write it down, and focus on that scripture for the day and even throughout the week. Each week, you can switch a scripture and just focus on that scripture for the week. The mind is tricky and you don't want to allow your mind just to think about whatever it wants to think about. You can train your mind how to think, but it does take time. You do have to pay attention to it and you have to learn how to change those negative thoughts into something positive. I have a question for you. What tip you like the best? If you like my message and you want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chat Switch Flow and it's all about self-development. If you into self-improvement, you should join my Facebook group. I would love to help you. Thank you for tuning in. And make sure to stay tuned for the next upload. Bye.